Before the present Clio campaign, the last time Renault used Frenchness to sell a car was 1977. Before we actually made the, uh, the ads for the Clio campaign, we embarked on some quite exhaustive research across the country. And an important part of that research was to determine to what extent Frenchness should or should not be uh, an important part of, of the campaign. There was a feeling amongst English people, uh, if you like, a grudging respect uh, for the French in the sense that whilst we had during the 80s gone all out to achieve, uh, heighten our, our standard of living, the French too had done that and, and to a greater or lesser extent uh, achieved it, but without sacrificing uh, quality of life. The English consumer, I believe, thinks they've got a lifestyle. And if we like to idealise this, it's this lifestyle with the dappled light coming in through the windows, the vineyard just round the corner, perhaps collecting your wine from the local cooperative in a, a large flagon, uh, take getting your bread from the boulangerie first thing in the morning. I think the thing about the French, or I think what, what English people accept about the French, is that they will always try and uh, get the most out of things. And hence, you talk about food, uh, you have to eat. Now the French understand this, so they think, well, you might as well kind of eat well, mightn't you? And I think that is endemic to the French, uh, to, 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 to the French outlook on, 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 on life. We all know they've got bags of style. Whether that's true or not, it's a perception that we have. The reason that the Clio campaign is, isn't set here in Paris is that Paris to put it crudely, is not France. A year in Provence sold, sold rural France. It is that part of France that the English buy into. The French go home on weekends, the French live together. It's not unusual for people in adulthood prior to marriage to stay, to stay living with their parents. Hence Nicole and Papa is, doesn't seem to be in any way unusual. I think if Nicole was English and was living with her English father, it wouldn't have uh, it wouldn't strike the same core, uh, chord. It would, it would seem less natural than it does. Nicole? Papa? So the English have uh, a perception of the French uh, as being uh, sexy. I mean, I think English men think French women are sexy, for definite. And in fact, that um, we cast all the actresses in, in our films in, in France. And there's just something about the way they act, just the way they, they, they look, the way they walk, the way they move. They do it differently. The perceptions, I suppose, uh, that the English have of the French is that they've perhaps got the license to uh, have an affair. Perhaps there's a kind of begrudging respect for the French because perhaps the English think they're good at sex. I think there's a difference between sex and sexiness. I think it's very permissible to be upfront sexy, which is a totally different thing from actually indulging in sex. There's that idea of, or that sense of frisson that is, that is very important. Uh, and I think we, we've certainly played on that. Papa? Nicole! The big difference that's happened, be it um, as, 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 a, as a reaction to, 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 to Thatcher's Britain, or whether it be a year in Provence, but there is a much greater uh, predisposition on behalf of the English uh, to appreciate the French way of life, the quality of life, l'art de vivre, and it's something that the English generally have bought into. France is still the most popular holiday destination amongst Brits. Um, but however much you uh, explain this to the French, uh, they still find it difficult to believe that we might like them. Nicole? Papa? 